Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 13th through May the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 13th through May the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 13th through May the 14th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May the 13th through May the 14th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, these are your cards, honey. Aries, you have the eight of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Aries, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit. For Aries, clarify the hermit. For Aries, clarify the hermit. For Aries, it is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands. For Aries, clarify the page of wands. For Aries, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aries, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment for Aries. It is clarified with the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. 
So Aries, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. And you're using your intuition, doing some heavy-duty soul-searching, thinking about coming in to apologize or ask for forgiveness and a second chance. But you just have this fear it won't be accepted. You're thinking long and hard about this. Aries, you guys could have had this heated discussion or argument, and it's them coming in asking for forgiveness and a second chance. And you're thinking about it and maybe thinking about missing the offer to forgive and give a second chance here. Like you're done. Aries, you could also tell me that you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. So you're not forgiving them. You just, I, I can't. Okay. But Aries, this could also be vice versa because they could have found passionate messages concerning you and someone else being intimate and communicating passionately online here. And you're wanting to come in to ask for forgiveness in a second chance. <laughs> but you have this fear it won't be accepted. Aries, you have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aries, could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're telling me that you're getting your wish following your destiny you can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things mend things work things out and reconcile clarify the star for aries clarify the star for aries clarify the star for aries it is clarified with the five of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Aries, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. You know, Aries, you can tell me that they hurt you, you're disappointed, you're mourning here, and you're just needing to heal individually on your own. This is the reason why you're not forgiving them and giving them a second chance right now, not right now. However, Aries, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, and you're wanting to heal things, mend things, work things out with this person. You want to ask for forgiveness and a second chance, but you have this fear they won't accept. Aries, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Hey, hey, hey. For Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective here. Clarify the hangman. Why, Aries? Why? Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. It is clarified with the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords 
for Aries. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries. Clarify the King of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that they're asking you for forgiveness and a second chance here. And you could be feeling smug because you're making them wait for your decision here. I told you you're over here thinking about it, okay? And maybe even thinking about missing it, okay? So you could just be having them on hold, feeling smug about the situation. However, Aries, you can tell me that you guys are stagnant and you're searching your emotions and using your intuition that, you know, maybe you're needing to make this decision because it's your wish. It could be feeling you feeling remorse and regret and your wish is to heal things with this person. But it's maybe on hold because you have this fear that it won't be accepted. Aries, you have the king of wands. This is you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the king of wands for Aries. Clarify the king of wands for Aries. Clarify the king of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Aries, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract or a collaboration, or there's a third party. Now, Aries, listen, either you're telling me that you had a third party at one point, they could have found these passionate messages and heard the news of you sharing passion with someone. And it's you wanting to work things out and get forgiveness here because you're feeling remorse and regret. Aries, you can tell me that it's you wanting to work things out with this person. Yes, you're wanting to heal things with this person because you guys could have had a heated discussion or argument here. Hmm. Or Aries, as the king of wands, you could be taking action because they had a third party. And maybe your action is a like, no, or to keep them waiting for an answer. Aries, you have the nine of cups again, again, again. So Aries, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aries, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. You know, Aries, throughout this read, I felt like you were purposely holding back with this person. Could be feeling smug here because I feel like you're needing to make a decision, but you're making them wait. So I feel like they're asking you for forgiveness and a second chance here, and you want to mull it over. You just want to leave it in the balance while you make this decision. You just want to hold back and could be feeling smug concerning the situation. This person is trying to work things out with you. Hmm. We're going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Aries. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for my store. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. 
And it says, I didn't think you would break me down. I misjudge you. This was a hard lesson, but I'm not giving up on us. I didn't think you would break me down. I misjudge you. This was a hard lesson, but I'm not giving up on us. Something in your eyes, baby. Telling me you want me, baby. Tonight is your night. You don't have to want for nothing. So girl, don't be shy. Baby, come inside. Turn down the lights. There is something that I want to do right now. Give me that honey love. Okay, okay. I want to feel that way again. I want to feel that way again. I'm not giving up on us. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for May the 13th through May the 14th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.